Hey, beautiful souls. I'm Brooke. I am an intuitive Reiki master. I'm also a channel for the divine. Wow, makes my hair look really short. <laughs> I'm also a channel for the divine. Welcome back. Um, I am going to be doing a twin flame reading for Virgo and stuck on 22. Okay, 22 is a significant number for somebody watching. So as I'm going through, I'm calling in Archangel Michael to wrap his protection around you, around me. I'm asking Metatron to activate his cube, to clear any blocks in the chakra system, to allow for healing to take place as I do this reading. I'm going to be going through, I'm going to be pulling energy for Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine energies connected to Virgo. Okay. Take what resonates, see what fits, see what doesn't. This might might not be for you. Um, and keep in mind, uh, you could be a feminine channeling divine masculine energy and vice versa. Okay? So, divine feminine with Virgos, uh, really um, channeling cancer energy. It's going to be the moon. While Divine Masculine's really channeling Libra energy, okay? So, New Moon and Cancer, you and your loved ones are safe. So, I have two New Moons, okay? So, there's definitely new things coming in, okay? Could be Cancer, could be Libra. You could be channeling or embodying the Moon or Venus 144, okay? A new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. Okay, new things are coming, it seems, and really feels like you're on the same, the same wavelength. I got blue for the throat chakra, then I've got purple for the third eye, okay? And what's holding all of this up is your commitments being tested to one, two, and expect a powerful change, okay? Don't let pride get in your way, okay? Ding, 222. Okay, big things are changing that you can't see. Big things are taking place. It's behind the veil, okay? Continue having faith. Continue walking forward. New romance is coming in, all right? Keep your heart open. Try not to fall back into, um, and if you have a significant cancer in your chart, try not to fall back into withdrawing and going in the shell. Try to stay open and ready to receive this new romantic cycle that's coming in. So let's see where we're at in the heart space. Let's see where we're at in the heart space. Thank you with this divine feminine, divine masculine energy. Okay, this divine feminine, you're really channeling the cancer of light within your heart. This is divinely orchestrated helpers of the subtle rims. Okay. Definitely a lot of light coming through. A lot of light coming through major heart chakra purges are taking place, but also heart chakra activations are taking place as well. 333 three, three on my clock. Okay. Um, for Divine Masculine, Star Mother, how can you mother yourself? Keep in mind, um, as we go through and we do these purges, remember self-love. Even masculines out there, you've got to remember to nurture yourself going through this process, okay? Look at the matters of the heart because this is where it's taken place. And what's holding all this up is Akasha. You are divinely guided. This is written in the stars and it's coming together, okay? One of my favorite cards to get. If you have any questions um, about where you're at, what's going on, about your karma, Akashic Records is a great place to go. It is the book of life to see where are you at. Is this a blessing? Is it not a blessing? Okay. You may have already heard of this person or gotten a name from the Akashic Records as well. Okay. What's under this is the ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. This is my card for the heart chakra purges and it's happening in the heart space and this is the energy that's holding it up. So no, you're divinely guided, you're divinely protected, okay? Try not to 
go back into that crab. I'm going to protect myself. Okay. Let's see. Stay open. Flow with it. Allow the light to come in. Let's see if there is a past life connection or something that needs to be healed connected to a past life. This is beautiful. It's truly beautiful. Definitely living in the upper chakras. Okay, thank you. Connected to Asia. Spirituality and religion. Okay, so I got three of my religion <laughs> cards okay this is definitely a biblical spiritual connection that's coming together okay um i get five 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 on my clock i get asia this always takes me back to the buddhas right then i get spirituality and religion okay are you being the light are you holding the light? And then what's holding this up is going to be biblical. Okay, you've already taken vows to come back together in this lifetime, okay, to serve for humanity. Allow for that light to come in. Allow for Mother Mary to come in and heal what needs to be healed within the heart. So you can be launched forward with this union. Allow for the healing to take place. This is divinely guided, divinely orchestrated. I get all three of my spiritual cards. I mean, there's a few more that, that are in the deck that I connect to, you know, higher power spirituality. But I get all three in the past life. Okay, this is what's being healed. Okay, let's see where they're at on the journey. This looks beautiful. Great adventure. Take a risk. Venture forward. Divine feminine. Are you ready? Are you ready to get on the boat? Are you ready to start sailing? You know, it's coming. Are you ready? Joy and delight. Divine masculine. Yes. Are you ready to expand that heart? Are you ready to be cracked wide open? Like, it can feel scary. It can feel um, uncertain. At the same token, this is what we're here for, you know? Begin now. It's time. It's time to take the first step. It's time to start now. It's time to go on that great adventure. It's time to uh, open your heart to joy, okay? This is how this is going to move forward. You already know. You already know. Because the heart knows. 818. The heart knows its way home. <clears throat> Trust the great mystery. And this is the 11. Hello, feminine. Trust the great mystery of the unknown. Trust the great mystery of this journey. Trust the great mystery of the great adventure that you're about to embark on. Changes here, divine masculine. You can overcome any obstacle that is placed in front of you. You can overcome any of them. And what's holding this up is learn from a past. It's also a seven card. And take the lead. 9-11, take the lead. It is time to launch forward with your new beginnings. How exciting is that? Okay, so if this reading resonates and you want to dive deeper, um, because this is a general read, um, my website's below. I would love to be of service in, in helping you navigate um, this journey. So I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed the reading, and I'll see you soon. Bye.